Ruthlessly efficient and amazingly accurate, computerised robotics transform everything they touch. But ask them to calculate an average income... Which could result in a debt. And robos a no-no. These debts are not raised by robots and that is why we do not call it robo-debt. An algorithm by any other name, the government's been using tax office averaging of incomes to chase assumed welfare debts for four years now. Suddenly, robo's out and refinement is in. The refinement is uh, income averaging plus other proof points will be used as the final determinant for a debt to be crystallised. Crystal clear for Letitia Luti. I believe there will be no attempt to recover anything from me now. Today's change means the Centrelink tax office process that originally had her on the hook for a $2,000 debt is almost certainly wiped out. It's a massive relief to, like, to know that this ordeal is in, like, ended. From here on, a debt will only be chased after actual evidence of income earned is matched to show welfare had been overpaid. To identify through bank statements or through pay slips or other means that indeed they don't have a debt. The change slipped in just ahead of a run of test cases in the courts. Helps to rid the system of some of the unfairness. It's what they should have done all along. It's an admission of fault in my opinion. Debt recovery is being carried out on an industrial scale and the budget depends on it continuing. The government's banking on four billion dollars in savings and already has half Half of that in the kitty, but these changes cast the remaining year's forecasts into doubt. This latest refinement of robo debt will almost certainly shrink those estimates. And for an unknown number of people who already paid up because the tax office algorithm told them to, a refund could now await. But only if they can convince Centrelink they deserve one. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.